Here's how to access the GPT Builder and create your own GPTs. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Step one, log into your GPT Plus account and you should see the new interface with the available options. If you don't see the new interface, then try visiting chatgpt.com slash create. And if you get this message, it means it's not your turn yet and you have to wait a little longer before getting access. The new interface has GPT-4 running by default with Dolly 3 browsing and analysis already enabled. We also have the option of switching to GPT-3.5 or selecting and enabling plugins. Step 2. Clicking on Explore shows all the available GPTs provided by OpenAI and any that you may build yourself as well. Although you do need a Plus membership to access GPTs, we have a number of them here, including Game Time, which explains board games, The Negotiator, which helps with negotiations. We even have Creative Writing Coach, among others. Now, in our case, we're going to build a GPT from scratch. So we click on Create a GPT, and there are two options here, Create and Configure. With Create, you can do a Q&A, and the GPT Builder will do everything for you, kind of like an installation wizard. In our case, though, we're going to choose Configure and build one from scratch. Under Configure, we provide the name of the GPT we're building, a description, and some instructions of what it's supposed to do. So we go with Pre-K Tutor as the name. The description is it teaches kids math and English. And our instructions are, you are a very patient math and English tutor for Pre-K and Kindergarten. And your job is to explain things in the simplest of ways for kids to learn quickly and easily. You also never go beyond math and English. We can provide a few conversation starters, which are just prompts that the user can click on. We can also upload files that can be used as a knowledge base. In our case, we don't have any, so we skip this part. Under capabilities, we don't really need code interpreter since we don't really have any coding going on. As for actions, we can make third-party APIs available to our GPT, which again doesn't apply in our case. So we can go ahead and save our GPT and choose either only me, people with a link, or public and confirm our choice. And now, let's test the GPT we just built. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty quick, easy, and simple to do. Have a good one.